Old Testament. Total Confusion. Nephilim the Sons of Gods. Sumerian and their way station on Mars. Lemuria Atlantis Sumer. Collective versus. Individual. Timeline. Sumayor. Atlantis. Great Flood. Lemuria Atlantis Sumer. Giants Kings Queens. Gilgamesh and the Epic. The Sumerian Tablets. Urim and Thummim. I could never read the whole Old Testament, since it has specific texts which do not comply with unconditional Omega. Nevertheless it could be interesting, the first chapter Genesis is very conclusive, I like that one. But the creation itself with all the Abraham guys, and their impressive age and maybe size, all of these stories leave more questions as providing answers. It says, at the first day God, and so on. But where is Lemuria, Atlantis, Pharaohs, the Greek philosophers? No answer. Only clue is the flood came over the land, which indicates a massive environmental change. To my greatest surprise, the same story of the Old Testament, can be found on the Sumerian tablets, the Epic of Gilgamesh. It is a book but consisting of stone tablets, with an index tablet, to find all chapter tablets, and read in correct order. Sumerian brought the language that can be written and read, cuneiform, a wedge-like indent into flat-shaped piece of clay. The clay can be burned to fix the text into a well-preserved state. Imagine, if you can read all these hundred thousand tablets from the Sumerians, which are around 4,500 years they say, but now if they would be written on paper, nothing would be left. The Epic of Gilgamesh was maybe more of a history of the kings and their story, since their kings would be not what we would think of what is a king. At first the creation begins very early, and is not easy to understand but then somehow it makes sense. Gilgamesh stated that the first ones came around 500,000 years ago. Yeah that is something. For now forget about it because in the end we make the conclusion on the bigger picture, we first make. Consciousness. Collective versus. Individual. Chromosomes. The pre-trained backpropagation memory. Urim and Thummim. Biology. We have our individual consciousness, I think therefore I am. Our DNA has 46 chromosomes. Aborigines have a collective consciousness, they say it is the dream time, which is a daydream where they can access any experience any aboriginal ever 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 has made, and beyond, on how creation came to be. The Aluru Aeus rock is their holy and sacred mountain, which was dropped by a massive bird. Aborigines have 44 chromosomes. Down syndrome people, are not considered as stupid anymore, since they are intelligent and social developed. They live in the now and are not scared of the future or grouchy about the past. They have 47 chromosomes. Darwinian evolution theory defined by Charles Darwin, without creation intelligence but based on evolution instead. He claimed that we literally came down from the tree and become pharaohs, just a bit more than 2023 years ago. This was the fundamental stone, laid out for the introduction of atheism, besides the work and books of Aleister Crowley. The concept without God, that makes the atheist, the apex of creation. This is the free ticket for atheists to have no compassion for other beings. The perfect managers and under dogs of the Satanists which are under Luciferians, which are under fallen angels, which are under Lucifer, the only true not God. That way the massacre of the last century became possible, which was for Lucifer not about the human sacrifice, but about the demonstration, how many humans would sell their soul, I think therefore I am. Only with atheism could they perfect the concept of genocide, to the climax, and make people to sell their soul to Lucifer. Germans and Nazis have killed six millions, mostly Jews, while the Russians and Joseph Stalin killed 3.3 millions in Russia and their Gulag concentration camps. Timeline The Given 
Higher states of consciousness. Alpha intelligence. Urim and Thummim. Atlantis was described by Plato in his book The Dialogue, where he explains the story of a young apprentice that sneaks in to listen to the conversation of his master Socrates and Krishas. I never read the story but there is supreme technology and higher consciousness intelligence, motorcycle-like flying devices and more. Sumerian's Recommendation A Special Movie Made From Beauty Sumerian's Documentary YouTube.com Let me try to make some overview of civilizations on the timeline. Lemuria Highly developed psychic collective consciousness, based on unconditional love intelligence, and telepathy. No technology necessary. Was this the paradise? Small physical appearance, about 1.20 meters tall. Giants I am not sure about the timeline, since the giants have coexisted with other civilizations, at Egypt, Abu Simbel, one can find sculptures of the giants and humans. Atlantis Highly developed psychic collective consciousness, based on unconditional love intelligence, and telepathy. Superior technology in harmony with the universe. Crystal technology. The height was now about 1.85 meters. Sumer. Highly developed psychic collective consciousness, based on unconditional love intelligence, and telepathy. Superior technology in harmony with the universe. Egypt, Sphinx. 12,000 years. Turkey, Gobekli Teep. 11,573 years. Great Flood. Egypt, Sphinx Sumerian, The Flood Bible, Noah and the Ark. Aryans. Inner Earth. Aldebaran highly developed psychic collective consciousness, based on unconditional love intelligence, and telepathy. Superior technology in harmony with the universe. Appearance over two meters tall. Nazis Psychic Thule Society had contact with Aldebaran's solar system, which should be the origin of the Aryan race. Flying saucer technology. Sumer. Ishtar. Genetics and I. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Urim and Thummim. Now we can tell the same story but from different perspective. Sumerian history is well documented by Gilgamesh in his epic. They came from another solar system and planet, and needed to bring home gold, for repair their atmosphere with nanoparticles. It was not working as expected, to extract enough gold from the sea water, and the work is minor hard to do. They build cities, visible from space, as a guide for others to come. It would show the runway and flight direction, where the rotation of the Earth would be calculated first. For make it more simple, they set up a way station before Earth, where the newcomers would rest and calculate the time of travel to not miss the runway and start all over again. The way station was built on Mars, what a coincidence. Colonel Dollar Hyatt could not get better than that, because now I know about the eye you looking for. It would be interesting to have a chat with you and Neuralink, Colonel Dollar High, because now I got my eye on you. Oops. Inanna is the goddess of love, beauty, war, and fertility. She is also associated with sex, divine law, and political power. Inanna was original worshipped in Sumer under the name Inanna, and later by the Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians under the name Ishtar. She seems to modify the Neanderthal DNA and after trial and error, was successful and she said loudly, my hands have made it. From now on the Sumerians would have workers in their minds, and because they have the DNA not fully activated, these workers would feel blissed by work for the deity, while in return receive intelligence, language and technology like the plough. The Sumerians would have a family and children but the children get mixed up and become semi-gods or a fourth of a god and so on. Sumerians were here before and after the Great Flood. There was the Pyramid Wars because Marduk has broken the law of unconditional respect and dignity. 
Marduk won against Enki by the use of nuclear weapons, devastating a huge area and rendered it non-inhabitable for centuries. In Egypt the pharaohs had also supreme technology and knowledge, but it remains a mystery from where they had it and what it looked like. Pharaohs would also would have a family and children but the children get mixed up and become semi-gods or a fourth of a god and so on. The pharaohs were here before and after the Great Flood. The Sphinx is older than the, the Flood. Atlantis. Crystal. Vortex Resonance Technology. Time-Space Continuum. Urim and Thummim. Atlantis is remarkable, the story is the story we all know, that in only hours, Atlantis sunk in the flood. But there is a story not many people know about. A minority part of Atlantean had decided to expand their technology into the time domain, which involves time and space, in order to make it work. Time and space will be an article on its own. What they had in mind is something much bigger, than just a one-man machine. I cannot understand the concept completely but here is my explanation of the technology. They would build a massive machine, with the shape of ring. Now to influence the time-space continuum, it seems simple to just create a special sophisticated field, somehow magnetic in nature, as the underlying field. This is related to graphite, which no one can explain yet, so they came to the conclusion, it could be a particle and call them graphitons. Graphitons have a striking effect on our non-magnetic body, but can be not influenced or annihilated with magnetic field, and the military tried any possible strength and technology, without no success. Means they developed a technology for creating a huge and strong field, beyond imagination, but not based on electromagnetism. This is also the low-level technology behind space travel, because without gravitation they can accelerate into light speed, while standing and holding a T, since they can also create their own field for not flying around in the spaceship. But what could be the purpose to build such a big machine? This is not clear, maybe to travel with the whole planet which at that time, must be Tiamat. They would travel in time and somehow also in space, due to the field. The other Atlantean completely disagree, but they do not listen, and finalized the machine anyway and could not wait. Maybe they thought that the others would be thankful when they could play God with their vortex harmonic resonance technology with planet Earth as their spaceship. The ring would not have physical parts spinning, but something more on the Clectal verse level, like the particle accelerator in CERN, Geneva, Switzerland. Billions of euro were used, special high-density electromagnets invented with the appropriate power switching technology to use them. All of this just for every now and then, collide two subatomic particles into each other. The machine in Atlantis was working different, and would somehow bring the Clectal verse flower field multiples into motion, and based on the frequency and direction, they would be able to steer the ship in time and space. The Clectal verse would create a vortex with some sort of a center, in the center of the ring. Maybe black hole or so. When they started the machine, it would take some time to spin up all necessary frequencies and the harmonics. It began to work more and more, the vortex building up and would give the satisfied feeling so to speak, but now the vortex was resonating and they noticed it is getting really strong. When lowering the frequency they recognized that the machine was still accelerating and the field in the center became stronger and stronger because of the self-resonance reached. Tiamat would now pull, into a other planet that comes into the vicinity of the directional beam, forming in the center. That is how the forming and expanding of the continents came to be, due to the collision was not in the center. Maybe half or a third of Tiamat and perhaps the other planet, were dispersed into the next layer to Earth, the so-called asteroid belt, creating lots of shooting stars in August when Earth is least distant, it was maybe Nibiru, that since then has become a new member of our solar system, with an elliptical orbit around the Sun and is now the outermost planet. Under the Earth crust, there is liquid magma so the floating landmass, would allow the remaining landmass, to distribute itself over the missing area because of the water was flowing into the crater, by gravity, somehow hide the crater on us. 
Noah DNA and the Great Flood. Atlantis to Atlantic. The Great Reset. Consequences. Urim and Thummim. The Atlanteans would need to evacuate when their land sunk like a huge ship in the water. A third went to Tibet. Another to Mexico. And the last third to Egypt. People are asking. What language they had? Where are their books with technology blueprints inside? What god do they worshipped? The answer is simple. The same applies for Lemuria and the Aborigine, even a few tribes in South Africa. It is the collective consciousness, where they are all connected to. That way they do not need the language to write down anything, because they can access the collective memory and learn history by be it while experience it in the same time, instead of write and read books. Urim and Thummim. This is the true reason, why there is nothing about them because they would not need to understand our disconnected state, which would be unimaginable for them. Still there is something remaining, but maybe only in Tibet. In the Himalayan mountains are many ascended masters since then and there are many hidden rooms and chambers with special knowledge of various time epochs. They are out of stone designed in the best most beautiful way beyond our skills today. Everybody heard about the green emerald tablets. Yes sometimes there was a copy made, because they could foresee the future of greed about the misuse, by keeping the knowledge under secrecy, as the so-called Vatican Library. India is the land of pure magic and controversy. As one of the poorest third world country, it has some controversy coming with it. There is people and sadhus, that can directly influence the automatic part of the brain, the parasympathetic, which regulates all organs and heartbeat. Now they are very proud of their successful training, since lots of them have nothing, are pure altruist. After presenting their connection to God, they are then treated with the respect they deserve, and do not need to have belonging, nor run or work for food, since they can use fasting if crossing the mountains or jungle. Now here on earth, so many masters can be found as in India, officially defeating law of physics. Atlantis has never surfaced since then and nobody seems to know where the true location is. Atlantic Ocean would provide a hint. However the remains of this terrible fail seems buried forever, on the ground of the Atlantic Ocean, but the Bermuda Triangle mystery points just in the middle of that. I heard that there is two other locations with strange anomalies, reported by ships and planes, crossing these areas, but the anomalies would be much smaller and less intense. 